What's up guys, Rich Gamer 997 here. Tonight we're starting a brand new Let's Play Mafia Definitive Edition. If you guys enjoyed this video, it would be really appreciated if you drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Let's Play Mafia Definitive Edition. Beautiful game, game. Scene is beautiful, it's crazy. In <clears throat> 4Ks, premi, premio. Welcome to the good old days. <sighs> Where the pollution of the earth all started. <laughs> Authorities. Ooh. Crate done fell off that truck. That driver sucks. He's about to be fired. Vincenzo. Subways. Tommy, Thomas Angelo, Detective Norman. Mm. You alone, man. <laughs> no self-respecting badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just the coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No thanks. Suit yourself. <laughs> yeah, pour so, liquor in the yeah. coffee. Said on the phone, you might have a proposition for me. That's right. But well, if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you call the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up? Yeah. I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, uh, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. 
Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. <laughs> Look at you. Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. Your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is, you got someone powerful mean on your tail, and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. What? <coughs> yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. I don't know how everything got so bombed up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed the heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. An offer you can't refuse, buddy. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts, when I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! Hey, hold up, let me see. I can go to settings, audio, music, oh, shut up. music all the way down, master back to 10, sound effects. Okay, we're at the river. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. Some shortcuts that'll slow them down. I don't care how you do it, just shake them off. That was your shortcut. I lost him, didn't I? Not all of them. 
These guys really don't like it, do they? Sometimes business partners fall out. It happens. Quit yapping, Polly. The more he knows, the more chance of him not seeing the sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. Shot the hell up. The car is slower than shit. They're keen. I'll give them that. <laughs> you left them in the dark. We ain't clear yet. Keep driving. Four bastards digging a road for the works program aren't gonna thank us for this. Three crates down. How many motors were at the exchange? Four, five, maybe. No one him, he's called for more. <clears throat> sure feels like it. Next time we take more muscle. We should have expected trouble. And the boss hears about this, they'll be out of pay. Like you can knock the poles down and shit. The one hell of a wheel, man, I'll give you that. They must have sent word out. There's more and more of them. We're not gonna last long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. Through back at the bar. Almost died. The car is on his last leg. We're close. Pull over in front of that bar. To the area's place. That's the one. Here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not?
compensation for your services, any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Salieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, oh, okay, thanks. <sighs> One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. Scratches on your car. You swerved. To keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? Of course. See you around, kid. <laughs> All the bullet holes in the car. Enough to fix the cap. Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. Offer you can't refuse. Nineteen thirty. After that night with Celieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. <laughs> you there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. Hurry, I have an appointment. So where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. <gasps> so, church. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. Stop there, by the park. Yeah. 
Here you go. St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure. Whatever you say. <laughs> These Italians are all the same. <laughs> Better find a new fare. Art gallery. Give me there quick. Sure. Quick I can do. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. <laughs> People are so rude. Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Saw that before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Fifty cents. I don't spend it all at once. I'll try not to. <laughs> Fifty cents. <laughs> Crazy. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. On to the next. Look at that old school truck. I said it looks lovely. <laughs> Hot rod and making right there. Hey, over here. Oh boy, you look like shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Booze. Figures. Where are we going? <laughs> Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. <gasps> Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for a cab ride since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. <laughs> Only reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. 
Cops see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Guess so. If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <clears throat> this city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. Get your ass on that cable car, lady. Out the street. It's like waiting on a school bus for those cable cars. Here on, on the corner, please. Extra, extra. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. Remember me? Yeah? Huh? Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go help him sell Gary's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much rocking for a while, eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou! You got business with the Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. What is he is the Don's favorite driver? So anything you gotta say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay, then. See your boys around. Let's 
go, Lou. <laughs> Think. At least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Silieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. Man can't make a decent living no more without being attacked by these hooligans. set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar here. Paul, oh, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go we'll smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy. When you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? He's a cabbie. We're helping him out. He's gonna drive the boss? Nah, you don't lose your job that easy. I hate it. Stand around. Find anything good? Nah, I... I'm watching. Got it? I get it. <laughs> Prohibition here to stay. Guys, that's gonna do it for me tonight if you guys enjoyed this video it'd be really appreciated if you drop a like leave a comment hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you don't miss another upload remember stay safe wash your hands wear your mask if you choose to but most important of all be kind to each other and tell someone you love them wonderful have a wonderful night peace